smash that like button for me. Well, there's a lot of dangers when you're working in hip hop, and some one of them is if you're doing a podcast and everybody knows where it is, sometimes you'll get a crazy guy to come in, and that's what happened with Adam22 at No Jumper Podcast. The guy actually used a prop weapon to try to rob Adam22 while he was on live. I thought it was fake at first, but Adam released all this footage. Now, I was like, oh, Adam's just trolling again. Adam does troll a lot, okay? And he's funny on Twitter. But when you saw all the cops there, there's no way they, they staged that. He just really, he probably thought the kid was messing around. And then that's why he had that laugh. And then it got serious. Like, oh, this guy's for real. This guy's for real. Okay, so uh, that happens. Uh, we'll, we'll break that down in a second. Then we got Safari thinking he's a tough guy with Joe Budden. He threatens to meet him outside after he got sunned on the sand. <laughs> now he's a tough guy at the reunion. Okay, I don't know if I believe this is fake or what, but these guys were besties a few months ago, buying each other's bags and everything. Then Khloe Kardashian kind of contra- contradicts herself with Tristan Thompson, okay? Let's get into this. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, sorry. Uh, I'm working hard for you guys, so just you know, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up for me. That's all I ask. It's free. Spread some good vibes and get good vibes back, guys, okay? And uh, don't get the bad vibes. That's the thumbs down button. You don't want those. Anyways, uh, look at me. I'm all over the place. Um, anyways, okay, so we got, okay, so here we go. We got, um, let's start with Adam 22. Okay, so Adam 22, the guys were arrested, um, that violated him while he was on live stream. They got violated themselves because he, they walked into a store where all his people are. So obviously this guy got messed up and the cops came and you, cause you have to do that. The cops came and arrested him. I, I don't think he was wrong for, you know, an invasion of his business, okay? Calling the cops. So uh, it's good he didn't get hurt and nobody really, like, tried to take him out, you know? Uh, Hopefully he's more careful in the future. Puts up a safeguard. I wouldn't let people in the back while I'm doing YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, Because, you know, that's where you're focused on making content. You don't want people coming back there and messing with you. So definitely beef up a door or something so there's layers to get to you. Um, then we got Joe Budden. So we saw him uh, a couple weeks ago. Check Safari on the beach for bringing Erica Mena, who is Sin Santana's ex-lover, which is his, his fiance. It's like a big triangle. Now, Safari, before he was dating Erica Mena, he was besties with Joe Budden, buying him Gucci bags and everything, you know, t- uh, taking care of uh, his son and everything. Then... Gets with Erica Mena, who since Santana used to date, Erica Mena is known to stir some things up. And he brought her to the some getaway island they did for Love and Hip Hop without telling Joe. Joe got mad, said he'd mess him up on the sand. Safari got sunned. He was scared. Then at the hip hop reunion with uh, all the bodyguards and everything there, he got tough. He said, oh, Joe, you're a clown. Um, then Sin tried to get involved. He said, oh, be quiet. This is between Joe and I, respectfully. And Joe Budden was just was like, yo, man, you're trying to act tough at the reunion to redeem yourself. The person that looked like a clown was Safari. Nobody's scared of Safari, okay? Let's not forget when Safari got almost robbed in Brooklyn when he came back to try to visit his, his people, okay? Let's remember that one. S- search it on YouTube. Everybody approached Safari and said he wasn't welcome there anymore. Don't forget, okay? <laughs> okay, then uh, then we got Khloe Kardashian. You know, her and Tristan Thompson have a baby. Tristan Thompson cheated for the, you know, the umpteenth time. Uh, she said, she tried to say nothing. First, she said nothing will come between Tristan seeing her baby. Then she came out and said, Tristan's not making effort to see the baby. Now she doubled down today and took that back and said, no, 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 he, he is being a good father, okay? Because she doesn't want to be slandering him. Now, the girl Jordan Woods that's friends with Kylie, she's getting all kinds of offers now because, you know, they really painted her out to be such a villain. And maybe she is but <laughs> in this situation. But you know what? She's young, okay? She's like 22, right? It's like she was drunk. I guess they kissed or something. I don't know. People in Calabasas say, nah, they've been hooking up for a while. Been obvious about it. I think this is all part of the new 
the new storyline for the Kardashians. They need storylines, okay? You know, they're, they're using the, 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 the fires in California. That's a huge storyline of theirs. And yeah, granted, they live there. But come on, they milked it to the, the bone on the new trailer. You'll see it. It's just like, you know, everything is, let's milk this, let's milk this, let's milk this. Even this was by, might have been staged just to set Jordan Woods up with her own company. It's like, how are we going to sell your makeup? People don't really care about you now. But now they care about her. Now they care. They're smart over there. I'm not going to say anything bad because they're just doing what everybody else is doing now. Trolling. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure you uh, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you guys think below. I, I appreciate you guys sharing, and I respect what you guys think. Uh, check you guys in the next video. I'm pulling up some new news.